tēnā rā e pā e tō mātai matua nui te rangi uh, atu atu a nui tū a uri uri whāi o io uh, ko tēnī a ke au a kā ea matiaha te alo hatai te rangi pū a tāta uh, ko a whai wāhi anu ai ki te hoki mai ki roto ki te taupuni uh, ki te taumata kōrero o roto a uh, whai atu ai ki ngā Tua huatanga i roto i te kōrero a Hawaii ki rangi ki tīni rā a ki te whai atu i tō hu a rahi i ngā mea katoa o roto tēnei taonga tuku i honi a mai rāno, mai rāno i a rātau te kīngi mangu i a rātau i a rāwiri mā a e ora tonu ana mai nei a tēnei pūoro me ona whakapaparanga eke eke mai eke eke iho mai eke eke iho mai eke eke iho mai e nore i rana mātau oroto tahu posi a whai atu ai tō hou tauira mai tauira mai i te tua huatanga o te mea hai whai atu ki te tahira te tahira, te tahira E, no reira anō a hau a, whai hāre ai a, me taku whāwhai tonu mai roto i tētahi atu anō a, takiwā mahi, takiwā a, a, umanga, tarati a, me ngā wāpoto anō o roto, me ngā a, wākiki anō o roto uh, I roto i ngā hui hui ngā kia rātau uh, ki te whai atu ki ngā kōrero katoa no nei me ngā huatanga no kai roto uh, ki te taupuni ki roto ki tēnei rā. Uh, e pā, whakamue miti, whakamue miti, whakamue miti, ai te ingoa te i e hua. Āmene, uh, kā piti hono, ka tātai hono. Ko rātau mā te kanuhi mate ki a rātau kai te kā puni puni tanga o te wairua. Kā piti hono ka tātai hono, ko tātau mā no tēnei te kanuhi ora. E tātau, ko ahurike mai nei, haramai, haramai, nau mai haere. Nau mai haere, tēnā tātau, tēnā tātau, mai uri ora. A, ahuri.
have it in my toes. Pai Huki, Reggae My Lightus, Peter Tosh Tira, Me Tira Wana, Tino, Reggae My Lightus, Etatama, Me Totata Huki Maya No, Kiroto, Hawaii Kirangi, Faya Tsuai, E Tetsua, Huatanga, O Roto, Menga Mea Katuano, Nga Mea Katuano, Hai Fai, Etatama, Aroha Mai, Kaite, Fa Faya House, in a bit of a hurry. Uh, to get here running so, so late, so I'm about half an hour late. I was going to leave um, uh, reggae in your reggae uh, for today because I was running so late, but I, I, I think I might still do a bit because uh, there'll be a lot of people out there still wanting to see a bit of it, but I won't finish it off today. I'll do a bit more of it. I'll leave some of it for next week and finish it off next week. Um, or... I'll bring in our uh, special uh, band member next week and uh, I'll uh, finish it off the week after. Because it's such a very, very well-crafted uh, reggae song. Um, in, yeah, dance hall, but uh, unlike most of your dance hall numbers, it's more our style dance hall. You know, the uh, Jamaican dance haulers would probably, and, and, and uh, UK dance haulers would probably look at our dance hall and think it was uh, a lot more gospel soul uh, than, than dance hall. But, yeah, a little bit different. Uh, it, it's a cultural thing, I guess. It's a cultural thing. Um, we, in our culture, we don't, um, yeah, it, it, I guess it depends what sort of waiata it is. And though this is a, a sort of a fun waiata, uh, it's got a very serious uh, underlying message. Uh, the message underneath it all is, is quite a serious one. Um, and uh, it is meant for New Zealand. So, yeah, it... Put, put across in that cultural fashion, it, it, it'll probably get better received. Um, and probably, if we were to do our dance hall exactly like the UK or exactly like Jamaica uh, or Africa, then hey, we're probably going to end up um, uh, getting a tease that we're a little bit parity in this country when it comes to reggae. Um, and uh, that would be correct 
if we were to do it that way, but we don't. We stick strictly. I mean, we're roots conscious roots. Yeah, roots conscious roots reggae. Gospel is our style. And so we, yeah, everything pretty much you'll see done in a, whether it's a dance hall style, whether it's gospel soul, whether it's uh, roots reggae, whether it's rock steady. Um, yeah doesn't matter our cultural way our tribal way will govern over most of how we lay it out um and, and of course there's our language and and most of it well a lot of our songs let's not say most of them uh there's a lot of our language because we're not just looking to uh put our music out there into the new zealand public um audience uh we want uh, our music right out there, right out into the world audience because we've got 27 nations across the world that are also our audience. They're also a part of us uh, as a, a super tribal entity of Te Tiri o Te Mona o Te Arua, New Zealand. And uh, we also want to get out to the other uh, nations across the world that want us uh those within our 300 uh, trade ports and and those outside yeah so i thought i'd still do a wee bit of of reggae and your reggae today and uh get on to our our special band member next week and then finish it off the week after um we're bound to have some more book called it'll come in after that and then it won't be too long i'm pretty sure uh, we will have uh, the uh, the Tahu Posse come in um, and uh, start to work with us <coughs> live on air and uh, do some performances and show us, uh, yeah, that uh, we're not just about uh, the talks. We're not just about uh, the walk <laughs> and uh, that we know how to do it as well. And uh, that's that's got to be, uh, yeah, uh, that's got to be really good for us. And uh, what, just a moment while I get this ready here. Um, Aroha mai too. I uh, I think I um, just missed the beginning of that one there. Um, reggae my light is such a good number. Sorry about that. And uh, I uh, quickly, but having been in such a hurry, uh, just coming out of reviews and. Uh, and stuff like that, uh, quarterly reviews, uh, meetings, and having to rush through the tail end of that one. Um, right at the end, I thought, oh, no, I should be all right, I should be all right. But by the time I got here, a whole half an hour had passed by. So sorry about that, and uh, uh, running a little bit late too. And then I missed uh, the, the, the right at the start of that song there. <laughs> um, but we... Yeah, the show goes on, as they say. And uh, what we've got coming up next is Lee Perry, The Scratch. Uh, and we've got the song Super Ape, In A Good Shape. He's a master. He, it, uh, he, he is so original and... Uh, uh, so comical that you couldn't help but like his music. Um, yeah, I uh, I think that uh, you wouldn't notice his his real standardised way of putting the music together, um, but wonderful, wonderful, eh? And so, yeah, that's Lee Scratch Perry coming up next. We've got a little bit of um, we've got a little bit of uh, gospel reggae as well coming up. Then we've got so, we've also got some uh, uh, reggae and your reggae, reggae and your reggae. Uh, we're going to look at the uh, second verse, 
and we're going to look at moving through the second verse and, and uh, what it talks about in terms of uh, where we're starting to come into uh, more uh, around how the pure initiates uh, pure reggae around it. You know, everything that comes in around that particular strike initiates. You know, it has to be a one drop. And no, no other rhythm can fit around that, that strike but a one drop rhythm. So, yeah. That's that's what we mean, and uh, we'll have a little talk around that and a couple of other things like tra in translating. There was one of the major um, bits of gold or that came through over the week. Uh, our last two weeks is uh, that people wanted to know why we changed the whole of the song. We shouldn't have changed the whole of the song because it's so awesome and um, it's so awesome and. In the uh, in the English version, uh, and it is, is a little, it sounds a little bit more talky, a little bit more chattery, a little bit more chatty <laughs> in the English. Um, not so in the deal, although it does sound like it. It's not so in the deal, but we do have some echoes and and, and uh, more. Uh, uh, what do you call uh, reiterations going on through the Wayata? I can't put them all in, obviously, because I'm only one voice. I'd need uh, two or three other voices to add those in. So we've got a lot of that, but it's not so chatty. It's quite, well, we purposely look to keep it simple. And the problem with literal translations is they get too wordy. So then you've got to try and cut them all down to, it's, it's too much work. It's too much work, so we took a shortcut. That's why we uh, cut in on the translation and we just retranslated the whole the whole waiata from the main ideas. Yeah, instead of putting it word for word from English, we, we put in the main ideas and uh, just basically rewrote the whole song, followed the rhythm. It was easier to put down. Took one week, boom, done. <laughs> <laughs> we can't go wrong, I mean, because we know the deal, we have the deal, we're, we're bound to get it correct, and so as long as we've got the main ideas there, we just hammered the words home and boom. We're right on target, e ta ma, and we're right on target with Lee Sketch Perry, kai te te kai ma, waru mai i te fa, kai muri mai te ne unga waiata e ta ma. Uh, we've got, and I think uh, from the gospel reggae uh, artists, we have uh, Papa San again. We've got one of his wayata. And to finish off, we've got one of the Blackmans. I've got to have a look to see who it is. I haven't had a look, but I know it's one of the Blackmans. Atu tahu te tarati, tahu mā tā uru, te kamupe ne matua, a pū te amuni tautoko, a, a ki taratiku, a te reo irirangi, te pō irirangi, RFM 92.7, a irotoa no hoki, te whakāta Māori, a Lee Scratch Perry, super ape in a good shape. Maori ora, ah, kahuri. Play it like it used to be. Da da dum, da da dum, da da dum, dum dum, da da dum. Have I idea about it? Hello, yeah, hello, yellow man. Take out the echo. He used to be Jamaica number one DJ. You remember me? You don't remember me? But I remember you. I have heard a twist your mouth to turn a light day. Okay, it's up. Let's get it together because it could be a good song. Okay, this could be a 
good joke. I like it. Do, 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 do. Pick it up. Find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good joke. Sketch Perry did a super hip in a good shape. Eta maka e te duetaka maari ma me niti mai e te fa me to tata wano titi no noa tu 
ki a rege ni rege a ki te rau ngā waiata tuhi nā mātau nā tahu posi a tuhi atu anuai a i roto i te tau nei a te kaumārua marama a tuhi atu anuai i roto i te tahi waiata kua roa i tuhi a i waiho atu ai a haha whakau tonu atu e, whakau tonu atu ki roto ki a, te ahurea o tōna kaupapa o tōna āhuatanga a, i roto i era mea katoa tau tonu atu anuai ana katahi ka tango iho mai anuai a, hai, hai, hai a, waiata tau tito anu Kia titiro, kia āta whakarite i te tonu ai, a whakarite i te tonu a, hai mea tā ki roto ki te kōpae kai te tā tūana ki oto ki enei marama kai mua ke nei. A, e toru pea ngā waiata kia mitu atu tēnei tau, kua tā atu ai ki te kōpae all the glory, a, tērā ngā kōpae o tahu posi. Kapita mai, uh, ka tai, tā ma, mai anu ai ki roto ki te marama whitu hai a tērā tau, uh, ka taki mai, uh, poutaki mai ai uh, i roto o uh, e tahu pasi, e tahu pasi, nō reira nā tātau, uh, whakau tonu mai ai i te titiro a uh, ki roto ki tahu posi reggae in your reggae e tāma, this is one of those waiata that will come out that will be pre-releases to the album um yeah uh tai hoa kene you know we we're so busy still too and things have already started to get so so busy uh hence i was late today but um, don't be surprised if we only get one of the recordings out and the other two come in between uh, January and March or April next year. So that'll be Reggae in Your Reggae, which will be the last of the compositions. Uh, the first one is All the Glory, an English one. The second one is He, He Waiata Whaiaipo, an achy, breaky heart one. <laughs> and uh, and uh, that one's all in the real too, by the way, all in the real. Uh, and so, um, yeah, very iwi. It was for an iwi girl, you know. So it's a very iwi song. So it remained in the real. It started off in the real, so it remained in the real. Um, this one, reggae and your reggae. It started off in English, reggae and your reggae. Yeah, um, let's uh, see where we are in the first verse. Ya e, mau ane, mau ane, makikere tonu ne, tika romi tau ai, romi, massage, ne, massage. Reggae language, rubber dub, rubber dub, rubber dub. Te nana, me te maua. Uh, the 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 actual you know holding down, holding down the mower, holding down, controlling, regulating, uh, yeah, of of the strings to get that uh, muted sound. Tikarumi tawa e, tikarumi tawa e ara. Straight downward motion of the massage as you go. Taua as you go. As you go. And uh, as you go carefully. Because no, even though we do it quickly, we do our uh, strike, we strike uh, quickly, quite quickly. Um, we, uh, in that action, are actually massaging each of those strings. Tikaromi taua e te teringi mauai, te teringi muted air. Okay? Ake te pūpehi, pūpehi, the bass. 
ki te pūpēhi maua nei. Okay, and a baseline is always like that. It's maua wai me te koko ni tauai. See, because of the uh, walking bass. You know, it's got to be a walking bass. And that's the style of bass of reggae. Okay, me te koko ni tauai. Why? Because it's done with a walking style. Me te koko ni. It's done with a step. A step, a uh, taua, and a careful, a careful, a uh, what do you call that? A a careful, a controlled, a you know, unmodified, a, a natural. Yeah, that's it. That's a good word for that. A a um, koko ni taua, naturally, carefully controlled. Uh, yeah, kokoni, kia kokoni koniye, because you know it has to. That's what that line says. Kia kokoni koniye, because it has to. It has to koni koni. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a boom, 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 massive bass lines. This is one thing I'm loving about uh, listening to Scratch Perry. Massive. No wonder he starts from the bass line because he loves that. Uh, Massively work through baseline. I'll tell you why I always start with the strike when I put my music, when I put my compositions, my reggae compositions together, because baselines come naturally to me. Uh, lots of people that listen to my songs, they note the baselines and they would swear that I start with the baseline. I go, no, no, I would start with the strike. Uh, it's because I've got a natural feel for reggae bass lines. And uh, for any song, I can put together a composition bass line uh, just like that. So, uh, and, and let's face it, I've been playing the music and all of the instruments for that long. You know, it's been 46 years, 47 years going on for me uh, playing all those instruments. So, yeah, kite pūpēhi, with the bass line, with the bass mauwane. Yeah, and uh, also, well, add in there muted because you can have a muted bass. And this one in particular talks about a muted bass. I'll let you in on that. A muted bass, mauane, me te kokoni tauai, kia kokoni koni e, because, you know, as it should, as it should, kia kokoni koni e, ama taki tautonu e, ama, uh, prompting, leading, prompting. You know, like the Pied Piper does. He leads everyone around with his, with his Pied Pipering. <laughs> That's what you call ama. Ama. Taki. Uh, ama and taki are both the same thing. They're rhythm keepers. So we're, we're talking about the drums there. The drums naturally following suit. And with the drums naturally following... I'm another one on the drums as well. I bring in the natural rhythm just like that. I can do that for any song. I've just done it for so long. Uh, I'm so used to it. Um, and amataki uh, tau You know, natural as you naturally do. Naturally do. Māori mai nei. Okay, tau tonu e. Ayau la watonu ne. Ayau la watonu. Okay. Remember me saying back in the first time I I, I talked about. Uh, uh, reggae and your reggae, I talked about the word ni. Ni has lots and lots of different meanings, but there's another ni in our language. You know, we can say if, we can say when, we can say <clears throat> here, we can say even there, we can say uh, in such and such a time, or we can even say, okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> ni. Uh, and that's where I say that in here. Um, or even, well, even right at the start, ya e, maua ni, makakere tonu ni, tikarumi tauai, te teringi mauai. So it's really, all together, all that action is really a ram and a jam being d described there. If you look at the uh, the strike carefully in slow slow mo. You know, you see it go like that. Well, that's what you call a ram or a jam 
in reggae music terms, a ram or a jam, the ramming or the jamming of the pure. That's what we're talking about here. That's what's being described here. So even though you're, you're seeing me going, uh, and the guitar might be a bit flat at the moment, but that's all right. We're not going to do any singing today. I just wanted to show you some of the actions or giving it a ram and a jam there. A ram and a jam. And that's what we're, we're, we're talking about there, that particular action, which is the downstroke. We're talking about the downstroke. Um, and when you come into the, 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 the strikes for uh, the strikes over the top of the dub are not just down strikes. Sometimes they can be up and down strikes. So in the dub you get the kake and the ike. You get the kake and the hike. You get the piki and the hike, the kake and the ike. Okay? Um, yeah, and so when we did the translating of the Waiata, we did that uh, with just the main kaupapa running through the different verses, and there's only three three verses, and uh, we were able to translate the song through and, and bring, th bring through the main ideas um, in the song and uh, bring it fully through. So, Ayaunga watonu ne tai kia mie. You know, you, you've got to uh, make that, you, you know, you've got to make that stroke, that uh, that massage, that, that, that stroke in the massage, that, 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 that particular pattern or style uh, of your massage, you've got to make it count. Because, you know, that, that that's... Uh, that's the way I do it. Roro mi roro to e. Roro mi roro to ni. Roro mi roro to ni. Uh, striking inward. And uh, so what am I describing there? I'm starting to describe my signature. My signature strike. Okay? And that is where the roro to is where I, I flick my wrist around like that. So I go around like that. And I end up striking around that way. So I go, I'm, pl I'm playing the whole of the fretboard there. And then sometimes I'm flicking my wrist around like that. Okay, so I cut inward, I cut inward. And uh, yeah, look, Rumi Rumi Mawani. Okay, Rumi Rumi Mawani. Uh, the massage, uh, the pure, the rubber dub, uh, in a controlled, still, and in a regulated, still fashion. Because it, it, it's through that fashion that we can get the, uh, in particular, the full, uh, the full uh, effect of the strike, of the pure strike. Okay? Ah, koropana tonue. Ah, koropana tonue. Koropana is to flip. To flip. Or to, you know, how you, when you strike a string, you, to pluck. You know, koropana. Um, and so, you, ah, kite heke tonue. Te te ringi ringi e, rumi ano mau nano e e e e e. Aki a te te na kupu e. This is where we get into the second verse, but we're going to go to Waiata. Before then, at Ruatka uh, Meneti, Kiterima etama kai te Ruatka Meneti Kiterima. We have uh, Papa San. Coming up, me tana wayata, Papa San, tana wayata, step on the enemy, step on the enemy. Yes, uh, and this is another of his good ones. Uh, it was a bit of a, uh, 
Yeah, but sad that we couldn't get the um, the actual we couldn't get the actual uh, video going on the day the first time I played some music from Papa San. Um, and I'll have a look which of the Black Mins we're going to get to hear at the end of uh, our hour today. Sorry, it's just an hour today, but we only missed half an hour. You know, we're not going to miss that so badly. Maybe one day we can do two hours and make up for that half hour. I don't know. But <laughs> but coming coming up uh, at Tama, we got to step upon the enemy. And let's carry on into the second verse uh, a little bit more after the break. But just a wee bit more. And so we've got re- reiterations and that going on. So it sounds a little bit more talky than it is. But when you follow the main line, we've kept it relatively simple. Uh, because we have to for our language in this day and age. Most people don't have a very good carriage of the real. Most people. Why is that? Because they're too... Um, crazy about, let's put it that way, crazy about following English in terms of learning the real. Yeah, okay, it's great for second language learners, but once you've started learning in your second language, you can switch over. Okay, you can switch over. Fine for natives like me, we can go straight into the language and we're fine. Um, And, uh, you know, young children, they're fine too straight into the language. Adults, realistically, they're fine too. But when you tell adults that they can't for a long time, which a lot of adults get told that they can't, they start to think that they can't, and uh, really they can. (laughs) They can, but all you have to do is keep it it, uh, relative, keep it simple, and, and, and keep them going for the quality of the deal because that's where it is. That's where it is. It's in the real. It's not in the English. Don't be fooled by that. And that's why we uh, translated the song in such a way. Because, yeah, it's a big job uh, doing it around the other way. Would have come out far too wordy. Um, and uh, we would have uh, lost most of the meaning of the waiata. And uh, that would have been sad. Etama. Uh, So we're keeping some good clarity in this waiata, and we're taking less time in doing it. I need a te nei a kini, papa san, step on the enemy, hide it on a kini, kahudi. I'm 
Babylon. Don't ever be afraid to talk. For the life where you live will the terms you walk. Through the valley of the shadow of death, me pass and just step on the enemy. Step on the enemy. Don't ever be afraid to dance. Deep down in your heart, man, that you want. And the son of perdition, I stand no chance. I just step on the enemy. Satan, no enemy. Don't ever be afraid to talk. For the life where you live will the terms you walk. Through the valley of the shadow of death, me pass and just step on the enemy. Satan, no enemy. So tell me what I'm up in me The greater man will live inside of me Me not afraid of no demon to pick When me dance, look, you feel follow me Don't know about me, don't know about me, know about me uh. Don't ever be afraid to talk For the life where you live will the terms you walk uh. Through the valley of the shadow of death me pass And just step on the enemy, step on the enemy Don't ever be afraid to dance Deep down in your heart, man, not that you want oh, And the son of perdition, I stand no chance I just step on the enemy, yeah, Satan no up in the rain Tino pai da wātu tēnā, Papa San, step on the enemy. Ooh, and if we're not careful, we're going to run out of time today real quick. Because we don't have as much time as we did in any of the other shows. Um, mind you, I've never been a half an hour late. But uh etama, akia te tēnā kupu e, yere kokoro nei e, riririri tonu e. Ah, piti and papa hue. Yeah, uh, uh, we we have uh, much in the way. Uh, you know, you know it it, it 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 encourages all of this sort of thing. Encourages, uh, you know, it co- encourages a real good lyric. It encourages a real good and and uh, and a uh, positive vibe in even the singing and even in the. Uh, the, the voice use, the reggae voice, uh, all of that is encouraged with a style like this and with a strum like that and with the use of of my uh, signature funk reggae strum uh, and the way that I use it if you had ever, would have ever heard it and I'll, I'll do it in the studio sometimes with Tahu Posse and I'll use that, uh, I'll, I'll get them, we'll do this song and... Uh, yeah, uh, akia te te na kupu e yere kokoro nei e ririri tonu e apitia papa hue. Okay, um, and even uh, yeah, lyrics like that, and uh, voicing like that, uh, in a professional manner starts to even go right out there. You know, it takes us right out there, right out in front. Uh, right into the the to the very face of the audience, and the audience, uh, you know, gets the full effect of all of that as well. This is what the pure can do. This is what the style of reggae can do. The roots of all reggae music is the reggae proper, the one drop, and uh, that comes from soccer. S o u k o u s, the old ancient African Black Kings music. Uh, reggae comes from that music and uh, so I'm describing what you know the elements that start to conform to this rhythm uh, brought to us through the pure and they can only conform in that way in the one drop fashion because and they can only yeah all its timing etc etc can only be <laughs> pure reggae if you do it right you have to do it right obviously there's a lot more to it uh, but that's what we're saying here ama taki tau tonu ni oro oro maua e whakataa karakara ni e huhua tu maua ni 
Okay, there you have colorings and shadings and all that sort of thing coming into the into the picture. And etama that is uh, probably going to be all we've got time for. But that's okay. We're going to come back to um, we're going to come back to uh, reggae and your reggae at uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, and we're going to we're going to um, we're going to uh, look at some more and <coughs> oh my wow I get a bit coffee I started doing that I've had both my jabs and each jab I got <coughs> I don't know why I don't know why and everyone's had all these different effects and they don't know why so I, I guess the most important thing is that we've had our jabs Etama, we're out of time eight minutes to I'm just glad we had a show today and we had a bit of reggae and your reggae let's finish it off next time that's week after next next week guess who have a guess and then when I announce them next week, let's see if you get them right. Etama, Avion Blackman, me uh, tanawaiata, Yeshua. Avion Blackman came through with Christopher. She is uh, one of the, uh, actually the bass person, the bassist, I think, I think, for Christopher. Uh, and this is her waiata, Yeshua. We're going out with Yeshua. Te Yehua. Uh, the Lord Jesus, uh, Yeshua. Hai whakamutunga, hai waiata whakamutunga kia, kia, kia Hawaii ki rangi i roto i tēnei wā tonu nei. E tā mā, ngā mihi atu ki a tātou, ka hurike mai nei, tātou ko a roa, tātou ka tahi anō, ka huri mai, uh, mihi atu, mihi atu, mihi atu. Ka nui te mihi atu, Te yāwe atua, whakamue miti, whakamue miti, whakamue miti. Ai te ingoa te iehua. Āmen e kāpiti hono ka tātai hono, te mate ki te mate, te ora ki te ora. Te tātai mā, te kanohi ora, te nara tātai, te nara tātai. Ā, kahuri. Thank you.